I think no there is very little percentage chance that anyone in this room is just like listening at this point and going, wow, he's so right. He's so real. I love him. I, there's just no way. China doesn't have it. China has everything notes, they need man. for batteries, but they don't have what they don't have a thing called gasoline. And yet we're going to go away from that and we're going to go right into the hands of China. How stupid are we? How stupid. On day one, I will also cancel crooked Joe Biden's insane ethanol killing electric vehicle mandate. Now, that they care about. They don't go far. It's Iowa, baby. It's corn country. They care about that. I'd like to give that. you a much They're more like, complex. You know, I like dealing in complexity, but I'd like to give you a much more complex. They know that. They're like, hell yeah, simple. ethanol, baby. They more corn. More corn subsidies, please. Let's drive down and get some potatoes from Idaho. Well, sir, that'll be about six stops. Where's there a charger? Sir, there's a charger. We have to go approximately 100 miles up here. It's the craziest thing, I tell you, these people. And they want to take away your gas stoves. You know, I have friends, they cook. A lot of people cook, and they like gas better. I don't know if it's better or not, but it's, it seems to be better. It's better. They want to take them away. We're not going to, we're going to end yeah, all of that stuff Don't take it away, brother. One. Hey, the car you man can prime my gas stove off of my coal. And if you want to buy electric, you can buy electric. Hands, brother. You'll also Are buy. You Combustion me. engines, gas. You better not come for that uh, goddamn gas. You have though. the combination, which is fine too. I like the combination actually better than I like all electric. But just as I did before, I'll appoint strong, highly qualified pro Constitution Supreme Court justices who will interpret the law as written. And I'll direct a completely overhaul DOJ to investigate every radical, out of control prosecutor in America for their illegal, racist, and reverse enforcement of the law. And also, we're going to indemnify all police officers and law enforcement officials. I've met a lot of great ones back there. All throughout the United States to protect them from being destroyed by the radical left lunatics that are running our cities and states. For taking strong actions in crime. Because they can stop this crime. Not me, though. They're the loonies. told me the other day. We're and, normal. Uh, we have these stores in New York. You'd love to go. I used to love to go to them. You did, like, drugstores and grocery stores. Everything's now got less on top. You want to buy aspirin, and you, they, you have to call a clerk, which takes you an hour. They come over, they open it. They open a door, and they give you the, and then they close it. Because if they leave the shelves so open, good. the place will be raided. I mean, can, would anybody even think that's possible? We have to bring back law and order in our country. <laughs> How do people listen to this and think Biden is incoherent? Because Biden can't go off the cuff like this. Into beacons of hope, safety, and beauty. What do you mean? Work this is top dome. We'll he's spitting top dome. He has like a teleprompter, but he's like freestyling on top of that. The, rate. the problem it's is, sick. I've said this already. Donald Trump is delusional, okay? But he's not delirious. Donald Trump is delusional. Biden is delirious. That's the difference. Donald Trump has been delusional from the jump. He's never been normal. His commentary has always been insane. Biden, on the other hand, comes across as, or is supposed to be the sane voice, because, like, when you listen to the Biden, when he can get his message out, yeah, it's a normal message. It's a good message, even, right? Does he follow through on it? Well, that's besides the point. Um, but if we're just simply looking at the optics of the situation, Donald Trump is insane, but coherent. Biden is incoherent but sane. And unfortunately, when you are uh, less coherent than the other party, ultimately, you know, they're, they're looking at it and they're thinking, you're not fit enough. And there's this narrative now where people are just like, where is this coming from? That people say Biden is like, in, Biden is like demented. Biden is demented. It's like, I wonder where this narrative is coming from. And it's like, bro, from our eyes and ears and brains that we see, like it's, I'm sorry, this guy is insane, but he's very charismatic to an audience of equally insane people. People hear what he has to say and go, I like that. I'm so glad he's talking about the things that matter to me. Uh, plastic windows that stop roving gangs of thugs from stealing laundry detergent at CVS. I'm in Iowa in a town with 15,000 people. And of course, I never see that, but I see it on television. That's the way these guys operate. They think that that is a real thing that's going on. Donald Trump does a very good job of like effectively communicating that to, to his audience. You know what I mean? And the women that fight are very tough too. They fight against each other, but boy, that will be a terrible thing. But they want, that's what they're fighting. They want them to fight. Look at the weightlifting. 
weightlifting. You know, the weightlifting came out. The record's like 150 pounds more. You know, I do it. Trump is insane and incoherent. Really Biden is insane, depending on the policies, and sometimes sounds old, but I don't think he's incoherent for the most part. No, I think Biden is definitely... But you're not president. No, I, I, this is a big but, you know, fissure in this community between, like, liberals and and myself, like, more, more lib-adjacent community members of myself. Like, it's crazy that... Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like what Donald Trump is saying is, like, good, okay? Reasonable. Or even sane. On the Dementia Olympics, if we're looking at if we're looking at Brandon versus Trump, yeah, Donald Trump comes across as more coherent. Donald Trump also has been doing nonstop campaign stops again. Like the swimmer. Uh, it, it lasted 16 years. She wants to swim. She's a great all-American swimmer. She looks left. She looks right. She looks left. All her friends, she's been growing up with these people. She suffered a terrible tragedy. She was very badly injured, right? Because he went by her so fast that she got tremendous wind burn, you know? Left he's going right, by her at a level. Right. No, the whole thing. And he broke the record by many seconds. You know, this is a thing that stood like one hundredth of a second. And, you know, they break it by like 19 seconds. The whole thing. Can you imagine that you have to say you're going to keep men out of women's sports? Who would think that that's even possible to say? It's just crazy. But And these radical left lunatics are really into it they really think it's like a good thing i don't get it like Football. the normal person in this situation like a, a, a relatively more charismatic individual should look at this and go do you think this is actually harmful to the country republicans want you to be mad at this because they have nothing else going on republican politicians steal money directly out of your pockets and give it back to those mega corporations that take away that don't pay their fair share and take advantage of you and don't pay you fairly okay and the only way that the republican party can keep defending those guys is if they make you feel angry about some random trans girl that was at a swim meet three years ago who cares about this stuff but it's ridiculous that's the greatest way to counter this narrative because that is the normie narrative but the difference is trump also knows that his audience is getting smaller and smaller i guess of his like diehard supporters so ultimately he has to cater to that base as best as possible because that base is going to carry him across the finish line in the primaries okay and that's it Biden is a grandpa you avoid during Christmas. Trump is the grandpa you sit with because he can tweet about what he says. Because you can tweet about what he says. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to save America from crooked Joe Biden, then get every patriot you know. Make sure they're registered Republicans and get them out to vote in their local precinct caucus. For And you got to do this. Oh, the thing I was going to say is, like, mental clarity and mental acuity is demonstrated not through age at this point, but through the way you talk. What I mean by that is you look at Donald Trump, and you look at Bernie Sanders and you look at Joe Biden. Bernie Sanders is the oldest guy in the bunch. Bernie Sanders also has the most energy and the most mental clarity out of the three, right? I know I'm, I mean, I'm upset at him with the, on the Israel stuff, but like ultimately when you have all three of them side by side, if they are having a conversation, it's Bernie number one, Trump number two, Joe Biden number three on their performance overall. That's it. Here is Donald Trump talking about magnets that didn't work they had an almost billion dollar cost overrun on the magnetic elevators think of it magnets now all i know about magnets is this give me a glass of water let me drop it on the magnets that's the end of the magnets why didn't they use john deere why didn't they bring in the john deere people do you like john deere i like john deere that didn't work they had an yep, almost right. billion dollar cost overrun on the magnetic elevators think of it magnets now all i know about magnets is this Give me a glass of water. Let me drop it on the magnets. That's the end of the magnets. That's it. It's over. He's right. He's right. Magnets. How do they work? You drop water on them. It breaks. Like that Trump magnet situation is a perfect uh, distillation of all of the things I say about his commentary. Right? He's not. It doesn't make any sense. It's incorrect information, but it's still delivered in like a funny way. And his audience is also stupid as hell. And they think it's funny and great. Um, at a certain point, I think it, it comes down to Fifi's like it always it always comes down to Fifi's right and people like Trump they think he's charismatic they think he's rizzed up people don't feel the same way about Joe Biden 